So today is day 27 of my 28 day cycle. I would say I'm pretty regular. Um, I have, for the most part, been starting my cycle every 28 days, give or take, plus or minus one or two days, just depending on what's going on that month. But I'm predicted to start tomorrow. And when I say start, I mean menstruate. Um, I feel like my body is, is kind of upset with me right now. I went 26 days. Yesterday was day 26, right? I feel like my body is a little upset with me right now. Uh, it's like we went through all this work. You know, there was no fertilization this month. So my body went through all that work and I'm not pregnant. So what does that mean? That means it, it's, it's time to shed that lining, that thickening of the uterus um, with the decrease in progesterone and, est and estrogen. I will be menstruating soon. And I don't know. It's just, it's some, it's a little backwards to me. I would think that because you aren't pregnant, your body wouldn't be as tired as it is the day before menstruation. But being that the estrogen and progesterone levels are decreased, it's really the hormone imbalance um, that's causing these P um, PMS symptoms, premenstrual symptoms. And the major one that I'm feeling today is tiredness like my energy level is definitely low um, and like it usually is the day or the day before uh, or two days before my cycle and it wasn't until I started tracking my menstrual cycle that I learned okay I must be getting ready to start my cycle because I am dead tired I'm sleeping more um, my body's call, calling for more sleep and my energy is low and usually I'm, I'm pretty accurate or it's pretty obvious during that time when I when I go and look at my my cycle day on the calendar app that I use so again with that being said the estrogen and progesterone levels are low your body needs extra REM sleep, which is that deep dream sedative sleep. And suffering from insomnia, I already have trouble sleeping anyway. So at this time of month, it's just really hard for me because not only do I struggle to sleep, my body wants extra sleep. I'm already not getting enough. So it's just, it can be frustrating. Um, that lack of sleep leads to disorder or my moods are off um, it leads to memory impairment like when you're not sleeping and getting good, good deep sleep it affects your memory just a lot of things are affected so at this on this particular day <laughs> um, I'm trying my best to I guess be more in control of my energy knowing okay your your body is at a certain period or no point intended your body's at a certain day in, in your menstrual cycle that calls for you to be more cognizant of the amount of energy that you're putting out the amount of energy that you're expending um, the food that I'm eating um, I'm just interested in, in, in vlogging and sharing with you all 30 day cycle is 28 for me but just to show you day by day my journey to um, hopefully better help you learn more about your menstrual cycle and how you deal with the different changes on a day-to-day -day basis so this morning um, I didn't do very well with my diet um, I had coffee extra shrimp and a bagel which is not really that's not health 
happy at all. And I'm sensing a little more, more, a little of anxiety, I guess, from the caffeine. Um, I've already discussed that being tired or not sleeping well was one of the consequences of day 28, my menstrual cycle. And I felt as if caffeine would be beneficial. For now, it's keeping me up. I'm on the go, I'm, I'm working, so I have no choice really but to be on the go. Duty calls, right? But I feel as though if I was to really sit down and get back to my desk, I don't feel that I would be as productive today. I'm just not up for it. And that, guys, is day 27 of my menstrual cycle. This is the day, actually the first day, that I decided to vlog and vlog um, my cycle. I intended on vlogging starting the first of the year. That would make me, what is that, week fifth? Not week. That would make me... Um, that would be day 15 for me, the first of the month, if my cycle starts tomorrow as projected. The New Year's would be day 15, and that's midway through my cycle. And that's that's the fun times. And I look forward to, I guess, vlogging on those days. So I think I'm going to start now. It's before the New Year. I'm going to go into the New Year having started this journey with you all and um, I'll be back tomorrow.